Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. I'm Sonal Gupta and this channel is about increasing your understanding of physics. To clear your concepts, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for latest updated videos. In this video session, we are going to talk about the Einstein's photoelectric equation and see how it is derived. So let's first talk about the important features of photoelectric effect. As we learned, photoelectric effect is the phenomenon of emission of electrons. When light falls on a metal surface, we need to understand that light consists of photons and each photon carries an energy HF. This is the energy of each photon that falls on the surface. So E0, I can say the incident energy. Each photon can only interact with a single electron. So one photon striking a metal surface will be able to eject one electron. There is a minimum of photon frequency known as the threshold frequency F0 below which no electrons can be emitted. So we have to understand that not every photon falling on this surface will be able to eject an electron. Because if the energy of the incident photon is, I will rather, sorry, use this EI here, not E0. If it is less than E0, that means the minimum energy requirement E0, I call it as threshold energy. So there has to be a certain energy required by an electron to be ejected. And if my incident photon's energy is less than that, the electrons will not be ejected. So only corresponding to a particular frequency, that is the threshold frequency F0, only corresponding to that, the electrons will be emitted. So there is a minimum photon frequency, which we call as the threshold frequency to make the electron ejection possible. We need to understand that the minimum energy that is required for the ejection of an electron is called the work function phi, right? So the uh, there's a term used specifically for the energy requirement, the threshold energy, that is work function phi. And any additional energy supplied by a photon becomes the kinetic energy of the emitted electron. So, if so, uh, we would say that the energy of the photon is much higher than the work function, means the minimum energy requirement, then obviously that extra energy where it is going to go, it will be added as the kinetic energy of the electron. So let's find out how do we get this Einstein's photoelectric equation which governs this photoelectric effect. So we are saying if HF, it is the incident energy of the photon that strikes the metal surface and phi equal to HF naught is the work function. Work function means the minimum energy required for the electron to be ejected. Then what and E max, let's say E max be the maximum kinetic energy that is delivered to the electron. So the total energy of the incident photon has to be split up into two parts. Some part of it will be used to eject the electron that is HF naught plus the rest of it will be given as the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons. So we can say how do we find the maximum kinetic energy of an electron? E max that is equal to HF the incident energy minus the work function. So sometimes the work function of the metal is given you can use it directly or if they give you the energy of the or the frequency requirement or the threshold frequency you have to find out phi using HF naught. So this is your Einstein's photoelectric equation. So we have a question here which says that the work function for aluminum is 6.6 .6 times 10 raised power negative 19 joules. So what will be the photoelectric threshold frequency for aluminum? So what is the minimum frequency requirement for aluminum to eject the electrons? So we just did the Einstein's photoelectric equation that E max is equal to HF minus the work function phi. In this case, because we are talking of the threshold frequency, so there can't be a kinetic energy provided to electrons. So that is zero, which means that HF is equal to phi, which is HF naught. Therefore, F naught will be equal to phi upon H. 
right? So we will just equate the work function with HF naught and that is work function is 6.6 .6 times 10 raised to power negative 19 upon H which is 6.63 .6 times 10 raised to power negative 34. So this is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power 15 hertz. So we get the threshold frequency for aluminum. Now they say calculate the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons emitted when photons of frequency 1.2 times, sorry it has to be 10 raised to power 15, so 10 raised to power 15 hertz, when this these photons are incident on the aluminum surface, then what will be the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted electrons? So using the equation, E max, the maximum kinetic energy of the electrons would be HF minus phi and HF, the frequency of the incident photon is 1.2 times 10 to the power 15. So we say H times 1.2 times 10 to the power 15 minus the work function. So, this gives us 1.4 times 10 to the power negative 19 joules. So, this will be the kinetic energy of the emitted electrons. So, that's all in this video session. In our next video session, we are going to talk about the matter waves. Thank you.